Hello. Today, I'll, I'm going to give you a small patient information about polycystic ovarian syndrome. What is polycystic ovarian syndrome? It is a condition that affects monthly cycles, fertility, hormones, and aspects of appearance like hair growth, pimples, and also the long-term health. The incidence of polycystic ovarian syndrome is variable from 2 to 30 percentage. The symptoms and signs also vary from person to person and it can also run in families. What is polycystic ovarian syndrome? It just means that the ovaries appear larger than normal with multiple small fluid filled spaces called as follicles seen around the periphery of the ovary. What are the most important signs and symptoms the patient can come with? They can come with irregular periods or no periods at all. There is increase in facial hair growth or hair growth everywhere else in the body. There is loss of hair in the front part of the head called as temporal balding. It's increased weight gain, difficulty in losing weight and reduced fertility which means that some may need assistance to conceive and they can also present with depression and mood swings which cause of low self-esteem. What is the main cause of polycystic ovarian syndrome? It is a condition called as hyperinsulinemia which means that there is high levels of insulin circulating in the body but it does not the tissues does not respond to insulin which means that it's called insulin resistance which leads to high glucose level in the blood and can lead to diabetes this high insulin leads to increased weight gain and hyperandrogenemia which leads to increased testosterone and hair growth there are three diagnostic criteria for polycystic ovarian syndrome out of which two must be definitely be present to categorize a patient as polycystic ovarian disease. The first one is irregular cycles or no periods at all. Second one is increased facial hair or hair growth anywhere else in the body. Or they can have blood tests which suggest high testosterone. And the third one is ultrasound picture suggestive of polycystic appearing ovaries. Out of the three, two must be present to say that the patient has polycystic ovarian disease. What are the effects on long term health? On a long term basis, there is increased risk of high blood pressure, diabetes, which can lead to heart problems, increased thickness of the lining of the uterus, which is called endometrial hyperplasia, which is a precursor for endometrial cancer, depression and mood swings, and also they have increased snoring and daytime sleepiness called as obstructive sleep apnea. What are the ways to prevent and treat polycystic ovaries? The mainstay of treatment is diet and exercise. Nothing works like diet and exercise. Eating a healthy, balanced, nutritious diet containing lots of fruits and vegetables is the most important thing. The patients have to cut down on sugar, coffee and caffeine. Eating small frequent meals at regular intervals and apart from this, doing a healthy exercise which means 30 minutes of sweat inducing physical exercise at least 3 to 4 times per week. Even a marginal reduction in weight, at least 5-10% reduction in weight can bring about drastic changes in the signs and symptoms and make the disease better. The BMI, the body mass index should be ideally maintained between 19 and 25, but at least less than 30 to have the decreased long term effects of polycystic ovarian disease. The advantages of weight loss are innumerable. It can, lead, it can bring about normal periods. This fertility can resume spontaneously. There is decreased risk of cancer of the uterus. There is decreased risk of diabetes, hypertension and heart problems. And also there is decrease in pimples and hair growth. And most patients feel very very comfortable and very nice once they start doing a good exercise and diet program and adopt a healthy lifestyle. PCOS is a disease that need not be panicked because it can be kept under control but there is no complete cure for the disease. Thank you.